Hi everyone, and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to make a number, random number generator. So, there is going to be a button on the screen and a label. So, the label will display the number that is random, obviously. And, if you press a button, it will display a random number. So, let's open up Xcode. And, I'm going to create a new Xcode project. And here, I'm going to select Single View Application. I'll just call this random number generator. Sorry, I'm a bad speller. And I'm just going to set the language to Objective C and the device to iPhone. And I'm just going to save it in desktop. So I'm good. And here I'm going to go to main.storyboard and I'm just going to set the size to an iPhone screen so we can see it better. And if you don't like the view right here, you can always change it right here and it will go here. But if not, you don't like that one, you can change it back here. So all we need right now is, I'm just going to drag a button onto the screen. And I'm going to click, I'm gonna, inside we're going to say create or generate number and I'm going to drag a label onto the screen and here I'm just going to make the text actually sorry I don't need this and it's just going to say label for now and I'm going to Go here, set the width to 320, which is the size of the screen. So if I drag it right here, or the width of the screen, I'll drag it all the way up, and that's it. And center align the text and make it much bigger. That's all I need. And just in case it's too big, um, in auto shrink, I'm going to click on minimum font size and I'm going to set a changer from 20 to 9. There. And here I'm going to go to viewcontroller.h, and here all we need is, I'm just going to declare a few properties, so just one, at, so we're going to type at sign property, and space, open parentheses, strong, comma, non-atomic, close parentheses, space, I, B, outlet, space, U, I, label, and asterisk or star, whatever you call it, which is basically you do shift like that. And I'm just gonna call this label. Uh, and um, I'm gonna have an IB action. So it's hyphen open parentheses IB action. Close parentheses, and I'll just here I'm gonna say generate number. And colon, and it's going to open parentheses, ID, close parentheses, sender. There. I'm going to view, go to viewcontroller.m, and right here, I'm going to say the same thing. Um, set generate number. And instead of putting a semicolon, I'm going to make open curly braces. And inside here, I'm going to Actually, here I'm going to declare an int, int, uh, number equals zero. So I'm not going to have it be set to anything, and I'm going to say label. Sorry. What did I name it again? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So it's just going to say label for now, and actually I'll hide it. Oh. Okay. Here, you don't have to do that property, but here's one thing you can do. So delete that this part. And right here, put open curly braces, and I'm going to put this inside like that. And label, it works. Sorry, dot hidden equals yes. That means I'm gonna hide the label when the 
view loads and then generate number. I'm going to say number. Oh, actually, sorry. I'm not going to do it in void view to load. Actually, I'm going to put this part and I'm going to copy and paste it and make it available in the whole file. To do that, you go, you put it in Apple implementation like that. And I'm just going to paste it like that. And I'm going to do delete this part. And I'm going to say number equals arc for random right here and space percent sign and let's say 10 so it's going to generate numbers from 0 to 10 and here I'm going to say label dot hidden oh. label dot dot hidden equals no label dot text equals an open bracket ns string space string with format and I'm gonna say add line go open quotation marks percent sign I comma number and let's go back to main desk where to link everything up and this one so there's two ways to do it. You select it one at a time, which I'm gonna do right now, and you select label. Second way is to go to select view controller. You can go to receive actions or outlets, and see we already linked this up. Now we're gonna link this up to the button, and we're gonna select touch up inside. Okay, that's all we need, and so let's go to let's try and run it. Sorry, my chair. So I have it right here. You can't see the label because I hit it. And let's say let's say I click generate number. Eight three five zero. So arc for random does is it chooses a number from zero to the number that you put after the percent sign inclusive. So it can be zero or ten. So it can it can be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, or eight, or nine, or ten. So those are all the values. But let's say you didn't want one. I'm gonna quit the simulator for now, and I'm gonna go to view controller that end. And instead of putting just arc four random, I'm gonna say one plus, which will will have one plus the value of the arc four random, and. To make it not go up to 11, I'm going to say 9. So that's all we need. And let's run. Generate number 6. Uh, as you see, we're not getting any zeros because it's basically 1 plus a random number. And you might expect to get 10. But rarely. Okay. So let's quit the simulator and so let's cover what we did. We went to main dust storyboard at first and we put it a label and we sized it and we have a button that said generate number. And we went to view controller.h, we declared this IB outlet and we declared an IB action. And here we put it there. If you put it there, it will be available in the whole file, in the whole view controller.m. And we set number to zero, and set label, we set the label to hidden. So the number, when we click on the button, it gives a number a random value from one to ten, and the label shows, and the label's text equals the number. Okay. Um. Um. Guys, thank you for watching, and bye bye. Hope to see you next time.